Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Tours. I'm Casey, aka the Mega Miner, and today we're looking at another one of my creative worlds. One that's kind of an unfinished project, but uh, oh well. Uh, this is one of the worlds that I kind of was like, oh, I should like work on a big, humongous city. And it didn't exactly pan out because uh, a decent amount has been built, but really not that much. Um, in middle school, I was really inspired by the game RuneScape. Those who have played it probably know how friggin' amazing RuneScape was as a middle schooler. It was the schnitzel. It was the game to play. All your friends played it. And for the free part of it, for um, how much you got for the number of free hours of gameplay, it was so worth your time. I think now, now I'm like a level 72, looking back, something like that. I was a member for like three months, I want to say. But, um... Nowadays, I, like for, uh, a lot of people are upset with RuneScape because apparently they're like sellouts or they sold it to somebody and now the game sucks and it's awful and uh, oh well. But point being, I was really inspired by uh, RuneScape. So this um, kind of takes from a few of the cities, just like kind of the shops and stuff that I was working on. But it's kind of like a port city, so you can see that um, this is where the biome uh, like cut off because it switched to. Um, different update or whatever anyway so um this is just kind of like the port town that I was working on there's gonna be like a castle over there more towns and gates and perhaps if you guys want me to I can like do a live stream of just building this and whatever I don't know though uh, let me just give you a, a little tour around it though so uh, this is the main kind of dock that I had uh, pull up here nice view out into the open you have got the simple boat right here and the only difference is that we've got uh, different colored sails, more or less it's the same thing. Then we have uh, like a fishing trolley right here, it kind of looks a bit like the simple boat, I try to keep it like the same look. And over here you've just got like, uh, I don't know, like some cargo that maybe this boat had, so you drop it off here. There, I don't think there's, yeah, there's nothing in there. Um, but then it leads you over to this dock area, and so we've got a few like little market stalls integrated into these trees and then like a little hangout area. I'll just give a quick overview and then we'll go into detail. Those are some watchtowers, the simple watchtowers. It's a blacksmith shop, that's a hero's guild. We'll talk more about RuneScape then. That's like another house I was working on. This is a like a blacksmith, this is like a fishing store, and then this is the uh, like tailor shop or whatever. Anyway, so let me show you, uh, what should we go with first? Ooh, so many decisions. Uh, let's go with the, um, Go with the blacksmith first. This is like a little fountain over here, and a little look view out over here. But if you walk over here, there's like a little um, walkway up here. So this is the blacksmith shop. What I wanted to do was just create a ton of like unique little buildings and see what happened. But um, a lot of these are empty. So you walk in here. This is like one of the few that are like slightly added. And this is the blacksmith stuff. I know it's a lot more than what a blacksmith needs. This is like the second floor. And uh, for whatever reason, it leads all the way up to this little perch spot here. Um, if I ever finish this world, I kind of had the idea that maybe I would add like quests to it. And like um, different things. More to that in a second. But um, there's like a fishing shop. There's like some place for like some cargo or whatever, you know, like halls that they brought in first floor not really sure if the shop would be here because there's also the second floor creepy noise uh, and uh there's um these weird angled doors i still don't know if i like that it just looks weird but um then we go up to the second floor it's pretty standard doesn't look that much different either but then we have this unfinished tailor shop i mean other than the first floor, there's nothing much to it. But I probably would have done the roof just like that roof over there. Then you guys have already seen the simple watchtower, so I won't really go into detail here. But uh, you can see we've got a nice stone wall that lines the city. Desert goes out this way. A lot of pigs. Um, so then we'll move over here. And this is like an unfinished building that would like kind of be... Uh, this would be like a under building garden kind of thing with a walkway try to like make interesting like waves and paths throughout the city But this is like an unfinished building And uh, if we walk over here, we'll skip past the tavern This is like where the quests you would receive like maybe I don't know you could like punch out the item uh, Shelvin would have like a book to complete a quest and um, Over here show you the blacksmith. This one is uh, fairly well done as in 
it's actually got some things completed. Like, this is where the uh, bartender would be. We got some... For root beer, of course, naturally. Um, we've got uh, just some... I don't know why there's an S there. That's kind of weird. Uh, tables, fireplace with some, like, uh, monsters hanging over the fire. Underground, you can see how I had to, like, kind of build the whole city off of a platform. You can see this is where, the, like, the rules are. And, uh... I, there, there wasn't really anything down here per se that's out there anywho um, like maybe there would be like some quest item down there I, I don't really know but speaking of quests so in runescape I can't remember what city was in but there's this thing called the heroes guild which was like once you uh, be, slay this dragon and complete this one quest you got to go into the heroes guild and you could buy like uh, rune armor that's why I have the diamond thing here and the diamond sword there and it's kind of like a big, big hall, essentially. And I added like a big fireplace because it was like, ooh, a big deal and stuff. Um, so let me show you inside. There's not that much, but you walk in here. This is like a place where you'd have to like throw in an item that you completed a quest with because then you get to enter the Heroes Guild or whatever. Speaking of which, this is like really not smart idea wise because doors anyway so you walk in here and there's like a basement down there that leads nowhere and uh, like another bartender place a giant fireplace and if you walk upstairs maybe you receive another cro uh, another quest and nothing essentially up here either that much so that was a hero's guild then. I don't know so if we leave here I had plans to like wrap around here this would be like another naturey kind of like park thing that you could go to kind of like similar to over there but um another kind of thing that I had an idea for the quest wise kind of area um like maybe there was a quest that you had to go to the sewers with so if you notice this uh iron fencing like yeah sewer or drain into the ocean thing uh it was gonna lead underneath to the sewers here, so you'd have to like walk under and go in here. There's nothing past here, but yeah, there's like nothing, at least nothing. But uh, that's just another idea that I had. But um, I think that's about it as far as this world goes. Um, it was a lot of work, and essentially what we're we're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna do it in the Kingdom Builder series. That way, it's more rewarding because it's in survival and it's different and stuff. Um. But other than that, that's about the whole world. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We're going to do, like, I think two more worlds. I think that's about right. Yeah, two more worlds-ish. We'll see what happens. Uh, for the tour series, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Kind of my medieval RuneScape-inspired world. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.